She was reported missing, then found in the desert just miles from her Vail home. Now we're learning when 13 year old Jaden Gloam's accused killer will be on trial. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Kevin Bouton and I'm Whitney Clark. A guy and Stella are on assignment more than a year after 13 year old Jane Gloam was found dead. Her stepfather will stand trial for her murder. As nine on your sides, Craig Smith reports attorneys for both sides expect a long trial. The case against Joshua Lelevere is complex. In court, attorneys for both sides agreed to a trial date in July, about 14 months after Jaden Gloam's murder. They expect the trial to take about three weeks. Autopsy reports say the 13-year-old was strangled, but if there's evidence that directly ties Lelevere to the death, it has not been made public. Instead, investigators say they found evidence Lelevere had been spying on Jaden Gloam, using secret cameras to watch her in a bathroom. They say they found suspicious behavior like a suicide note on the teen's computer, composed at a time when only Joshua Lelevere was in the house. A few days after Jaden Gloam's body was found, Lelevere claimed someone attacked him from behind and tried to strangle him. But investigators say he did not show injuries that matched the strangulation attack. Soon after he was charged, Lelevere's wife Jessica filed for divorce. She had a child from Lelevere about the time the divorce became final. Now her attorney says she's struggling to cope with expenses and with the knowledge of how her daughter died. She has received a significant amount of support from friends and family uh, and the community at large. And I think the, the largest piece of this um, from, from Jessica's perspective is how grateful she is. Um, I don't think you realize how many people genuinely love and care about you until you're in a crisis moment. And he says while she would probably rather have the trial over tomorrow, she understands trials take time. Craig Smith, KGON 9 on your side.